Hi, happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday, hump day, which obviously means that we are working our humps, those glorious glutes, and we're gonna get into some leg work as well. Today's workout, I am gonna be using a little bench or stool if you've got one, totally fine to use your couch. Um, we're gonna use a towel if you have hardwood floors or something that your foot, that the towel can slide along. Sorry. Um, and we're going to be using a resistance band or a loop. So if you've got both, you can decide which one you want to use. If you have one or the other, I'm going to show options for both of them. If you don't have either, totally fine. So with that, let's get ourselves warmed up a little bit. Just warm up those hips, get some movement through here. Big knee up and circle out. Whatever else you need to do for your warm up for your legs, feel free to do so. Um, a little bit of a kickback, warm up the hamstrings, and knee in and twist, warm up the obliques as well. We'll get a little bit of core work as well in here. And then just take a big step out side to side. I don't have as much room in here, but you take that room, big step out side to side, and a little bit more to reach down. So you're gonna do that just a little bit more. And we are gonna start off with the towel today. So if you need to shake it out, and we're gonna start off with a towel. I'm gonna start off with my right foot planted and towel underneath the left foot. So we're gonna get onto the left side and we're gonna get into some inner thigh work as well. From here, you're gonna take, you're gonna plant that right foot down, belly button's drawn in, shoulders back. Try to keep your chest up as we take a slide out, coming all the way down or as low as can go for you. And you're gonna slide back in, huh, there's the inner thigh. So here we go, we're going down and back up. Again, we're doing 15. Here's three. Keep your chest up. Four. Five. Whew. Six. Drive that foot into the floor. Try and press that knee slightly open. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ooh. <laughs> Hey, there you go, we're doing great. 10, if you can get lower, feel free to do so. 11, 12, 13, 14, one more, and 15. Shake it out. And let's switch over to the other side, even up. So, here we go. Left foot's planted, we've got it on the right foot, underneath our right foot. Here we go, here's one. Coming down, and noticing the difference, obviously this side for me is much stronger, easier to get down, and pull back up. Two. Three. Four, trying to get just as low. Five, we're all in this together. Six. Seven. Eight, whew. just a little bit more. Nine. 10. 11. 12, just three more, that's it. Teen, and 15, awesome. There you go, shake it out. So if you need to, take a stretch, do some movement. We're gonna stick, after that, you're gonna set the towel underneath the ball, underneath your foot, and you're gonna hinge from your hips, reach towards your toe, and come back up. Hip bone square, belly button's drawn in, hinge and reach. Here's five. Getting into those hamstrings. Slide back, six, slide in.
And same thing, no towel. Slide back and slide in. Keeping your toes on the floor. Try and keep your spine long by keeping that belly button drawn in so you're not rounding up your back. And then we switch over, same thing, other side. So we're gonna hinge from our hips, belly button in as we come down and slide back up. And as you're doing this, try and relax your toes. Tip from your hip and come up. So close to done. Awesome work. All right, from here, we're gonna come down onto the floor, still using the towel. You're gonna to come down onto your back. Towel underneath one foot, and you're gonna drive your hips up into a bridge. We're taking 15 little hip abductions. We're gonna slide out to side, back in. Eyes looking up, belly button's drawn in. Drive the other foot into the floor. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Then lowering down. Point to wiper out if you want, then switching over to the other side. Same thing, elbows drive down, belly button's drawn in, lift your hips, slide out and in. So you're gonna try and get your knee to move and not just the foot, so it's not just your foot going out, knee opens and closes. And you may notice, as you're doing this, one side is gonna feel a lot easier than the other. Totally fine, again, you're doing for 15. Um, totally normal, there's always one hip, one glute that's a lot stronger than the other side. But it's fine for doing isolated work. So we're gonna try and even up and find our imbalances. Once you're done that, we'll move the towel off to the side. Still down in a bridge. I'm gonna take one leg out, lift your hips, and lower down. Lift and lower. So it's a single leg bridge pulse, and you're doing 15 for each side. I keep getting up because my cat is a bit to crawl on me. So do your 15 for each side. And then once you're done, you're going to grab your band or grab your loop. So if you have a TheraBand, let's just move him off to the side. He's gonna attack me though soon. I'm gonna take, if you have a TheraBand, you'll bring your knees together and tie up around your knees so that way you get some resistance. If you have one of these, you'll double it up, bring it underneath your knees, and pull the handles apart, the handles through. So that way, they're locked into place, and you've got your own loop. And if you've got a resistance loop, you're gonna place it around your knees or just above your knees. So we've got it up. We've got whatever we're using above our knees and if no equipment, if you don't have any of that, totally fine. Um, you'll just do a little bit more for the intensity. So we're gonna start off nice and easy, leaning back, shoulders back, chest lifted. Insides of your feet are gonna connect and belly button's drawn in. So we're gonna take small pulses. Small pulses, open and close. and we'll release. From here, we're gonna come down onto our side. Knees in towards your chest. If you've got a loop like I do, you're gonna set your bottom knee down onto the loop so it doesn't slide out. 
top one is gonna lift, or a top one can be just above your knee, and we're taking clamshells here. Lift and lower. Without the resistance band, or if you want a whole lot more, as we've done in previous weeks with me, it's that side plank lift into a clamshell back down. So we're gonna keep our feet connected, lift and open, back down. Again, going for 15 for each side. Entirely up to you what you're doing, and it would be the same if you're using this resistance loop, or resistance band. Once you're done your 15 on each side, we're gonna come up. So for this one, you're gonna bring it underneath the arch of your feet or around your ankles. So we've moved the band down with this. You'll set it underneath the arch of your feet. You can have your handlebars at your hips. More intensity is to cross over handlebars at your hips. And your move is gonna be a squat and a triple pulse kickback. Yep, it's gonna happen soon. So squat and triple pulse kickback. Doing those triple pulse kickbacks, 15 for each side. So same thing, this. Shoulders back, squat down. Small, oops, find your balance. Small pulse back, two, one, and then come down. Small pulse back, other side. It's a small pulse, targeting your glute medius and maximus. And then once you're done, you'll shake it out. And here's where we're going to use our little stool, little bench. It comes back, because we're gonna keep it back. And same thing with the band, you'll loop it around underneath your knees and it will come so that the handlebars go through the loop. So, same thing, taking a seat. It's doubled up. Thread under, handlebars go through your loop. So, you're locked into place. No band, totally fine. Same moves. So this, this time you're leaning back and on your chair, on your couch, on your bench, shoulders back, chest lifted. We're all going to go for 20 to 25. Small pulses, we're tipped back. And then we're gonna sit up tall. Small pulses, 20 to 25. And then you're gonna lean forward, ribs onto the thighs and small pulses, 20 to 25. So those are your glorious glutes exercises for today. A little less cardio than normal. Enjoy, have fun, and be sure to check out our page. Click like if you liked it, subscribe, and we'll get to you a whole lot more content. Thanks.